everyone thank you for joining me today we are going to make this very beautiful angel gnome and I'm going to show you how I did my wings and his hands and then he's got a little bell with the rose he's holding on to so let's get started and I will show you the supplies you're going to need you're going to need I've already pre-stuffed um, the sock with a either canning lid in the bottom or a just a round piece of um, cardboard and it's about a little under three inch diameter about two and three quarter inch diameter just so it doesn't isn't too big on the bottom um, you're going to need some white crochet thread this is the fabric that i'm going to use for the wings like i did here and i got this at hobby lobby it's a curly loop no a white curly pile fleece and I will um, try to link that in the description box below so you're going to need some of that for the wings you're going to need some ribbon we're going to decorate the hat and um, either like some decorative string or whatever for around his wrists um, you're going to need the, a bell for his hand and you can do silver or gold or whatever you want to do. You're going to need some beaded trim to go around his hat, probably about 16 inches. Um, I do have some flowers. I'm not sure if I'll use these today, but I did find those. Um, and if you don't have a white row, uh, red rose, you can either use like the beads, the um, uh, red. Uh, beads for Christmas. You can use those too. You're going to need two pipe cleaners for his arms and his sleeves are um, two pieces cut at three inch by six inch and we are going to fold that in half and either sew it or glue it. Um, white fleece for the hat. The white fleece for the body, the hat and the arms and the hands are all the same. So you're going to need one piece at 11 inches by 11 inches and then the body is cut 14 inch by 14 inch one piece um, i have some decorative string for around his wrists and for his hands you're going to need two wooden beads these are about half inch and it will help if you have the holes i would have get the ones with the holes because we're going to be folding this in half and twisting it and putting it the um, sharp ends in here and then his arms are bendable okay so we're going to do that so you need two wooden beads um, some rubber bands for when we put his um, cover the bead and the the fabric for the bead to cover it for his hand is off of the stuff from the body and I'll show you that when we get to it. And um, we'll also tie string around the rubber bands too. You're gonna need the stretchy knit um, nude fabric, and I will link that below for the nose or a wooden ball knob, and it's got a hole in the bottom of it. This one I had painted and sanded it off because I made um, a couple other gnomes that it worked out better because I used a cone so I had to sand off the paint. So you can use that too. Or if you have another way of doing your nose. Okay, so let's move some of this out of the way and then we'll get going. So we're gonna start with, um, we'll get the body. <clears throat> and let's see, I have, so you're gonna get some of your thread long enough so you can wrap it around the body a couple of times. So I usually use, I probably have over 50 inches here. So, and I double it. So I have put my um, canning lid in the bottom or cardboard and then pour like a cup, half a cup to a cup of rice in there and then stuff it. And when you do your stuffing, make sure that it's nice and fluffy like this. And 
so it's not all bunched up like this because then you'll just get lumps and it won't stuff very nice so if you have the lumps if you pull it apart so you can fluff it up it's going to be better and you want to stuff it all the way up to the top and then you're going to make sure you have the right side of the fabric facing down and this is a little wrinkled and it will the wrinkles will pull out it won't matter so i take and i pull up my four corners i make sure i have a corner in the front the heel is always the front so i pull up one the back and the front and then the sides and then gather up the other corners and i grab it so he's face down and you're going to loop your fabric so it goes over the back and then you're going to come around each side go to the front and then come to the back again okay i'll show you again so we have it these faces down here this is the back so you can put the string over the back and take it and wrap it around hanging down so it comes to the back and i just want to check my camera and make sure I'm recording okay. so now we're going to tie this and I just do I just tie it I don't knot it yet and then I will pull it and then I'll do our surgeon's knot which is three loops and then tighten it and then a regular knot and now you're going to pull up your gathers and make sure that everything is all evenly distributed so it's looks nice and and then the heel to me is always the front because it protrudes out after we get it stuffed and get the fleece on and if you want if you have enough room which I have done is taken and I've used my finger and pulled the string up if it got a little short if I know I have enough room to do that, then it's not gonna, the fleece isn't gonna come off. Okay, so now we're going to cut this excess off. And if it's not big enough, I'm gonna cut our threads off here. Then you just have to use another piece of scrap fabric. And just be careful so you don't cut the body down here. So I, and we don't need a lot for the mitt. So I would just cut the corner. Find your biggest corner. Some of these are small. So those two would probably work. My scissors are not very good. So those would probably work. But I have bigger ones. And I use these stretchy rubber bands. You can get them. I think I've gotten these, I don't know if I've got them at Walmart or the Dollar Tree. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pipe cleaner and I folded, it's folded in half and you're gonna twist it all the way down and then you're gonna find the wrong side of your fabric is facing up and you're going to take and put a little bit of hot glue. Be careful because it'll come through the bottom of the hole. Just put your glue gun in the hole and squeeze it and then put the pipe cleaner in there and there's a little bit of glue that's coming out and then put that on your fabric and just let it sit there and dry. And then you'll do the other one so that those sharp ends are inside the bead. And just keep your fingers away from the hole on the bottom. My bead's getting away from me. Because I've had it where my finger's underneath there and the glue comes through. You're going to take that and put that in the hole. 
and then put that right in the middle of your fabric. So now we'll take this one, and I usually use two of these rubber bands, and you don't think these things will, you think you think they're going to break, but they're actually pretty good. I think they're better than some of the other rubber bands I've used. So I'm just going to gather this, and I'm going to wrap it around. I'm going to pull that up, and then I'm just going to take a little piece of string and just tie it around there, because once we glue his sleeve or his the his arm on his sleeve we don't want the rubber band to break because of the hot glue so we'll just tie some string and you can leave this a little bit longer the string there so you can tuck it in when we put his sleeve on and now we'll do the same to this one And so you're just going to wrap it around, make sure it's nice and tight, and then tie a couple knots. And then you're going to cut a lot of this excess off, otherwise it's going to be too much to shove in to the sleeve. I have one of my strings is really short. Okay, so I would cut almost all of this off and we're going to tuck it so it's going to come up over that rubber band. So if you cut it really short like this, it's still going to be okay. So I already have one sleeve done. So just cut all that excess off. Don't cut too close to the rubber band. Just like that. Okay. Hopefully I have that up so that you can see it. Okay, so I have one sleeve done already. And what I did, so if you want to hot glue them, you're going to have right sides together. You're going to run a bead of glue right next to the edge. And then you're going to have to let that dry. I sewed my sleeves on the sewing machine. So you would let that dry, turn the right side out, and then you have your sleeve. So now we're going to take, and I have one done already, so you're going to put your sleeve. This one seems kind of big. Um, let me see, I'll see if I have another sleeve. That one seems kind of big. Okay, so we're going to take, you're going to put your pipe cleaner all the way in there, tuck your ends and your string in there, and if you want, I usually try to cut off some of that seam allowance there, because sometimes it wants to stick out. And then you're going to take and make sure your glue, the tip of your glue gun is clean, and then you're going to just run some hot glue all the way around where we wrap the rubber band and the string and then just squeeze it and let it dry. So now we'll take, I'll use some of this cording that I have. <clears throat> I'm just getting over being sick. So I'm sorry if I'm sniffling or anything. So let's see. And I always try to make sure that the seam of the sleeve is down. And then you can just tie this in a knot. If it frays, that's okay. And 
and then we'll do the other one. And then we'll do his wings and I'll show you how I did his wings. And then I'll have the a free PDF pattern linked below. And actually, I forgot to mention, one of my subscribers, and she is one of my followers on my Facebook group, Karen. She had posted a picture on my on my Facebook group that she made this angel, and I'm like, I had thought about making one, and I hadn't um, figured out how I was going to do it. And then I seen hers, and it was like, oh, I said, Karen, I have to steal your idea and do that for a video. And she said, that's fine. So I wanted to give her um, mention that this is where I got the idea. And when she did it, she didn't, I didn't ask her how she made any part of it. I just looked at her pictures and her fabric was kind of the same. It maybe wasn't um, as curly curly as mine, but it was pretty close. And I just found, I just made my own wing pattern, and I will link this below. Um, there, it's going to be similar to what the pattern is um, that I'll have the link to. So what I did, and this is going to fray something terrible. So you're going to glue, let's see, I have this here. So first you're going to take, and you're going to put hot glue all around the edges and inside here. And then you're going to glue it on your fabric. You're going to let it dry. And then you're going to cut it out. And when you cut it, you want to cut so you have a border. And the first one I made, um, I cut it really close. Or maybe I cut it after and I cut my border off and then my cardboard was showing. So I just took, um, I had some different um, cording and I just went around the edge of the wing and it actually covered up the cardboard. So now you have, this is what you're going to have, okay? And like I said, it's going, and I got this at Hobby Lobby, I think it's $12.99 a yard. And when I cut these before it snowed, I would do them outside because it was just, yeah, it's so bad. It's just a mess. So now we're going to take this and you're going to lay your piece down. And it doesn't matter which direction. It doesn't have a direction. So you're going to take, make sure you get on that border that you left. And you kind of got to work fast if you have um, a low temp. You could do, probably do half of your wing. But I have mine on hot. So make sure you get your borders really good. And then you're going to lay it down. Make sure you have enough room to cut it out. And it's hot. And then press it down. You, If you can't find this, you don't have a Hobby Lobby, you can't order offline, what you could do is take some white material and cover that over your, or you could do, I would do uh, felt. But you got to be careful when you use felt and hot glue. If you use too much, it'll seep through. But you could do the felt or fleece, and then you could put lace over it and cover it with lace. Um... If you did the lace, you could probably like wrap it around the back and then have your edges. Um, see if I can show you. So if you had your, if you had this was covered with like fleece or felt and then you put your lace on, then you would just take and wrap it around this way and just leave like an edge and then put another piece of lace over it and you should be able to 
um, just do glue around the edge if I'm saying that right. Okay, so now we can cut this out and you're going to cut some of the curls so it doesn't matter. We're going to trim it up too anyway. And then when we get it cut out, then you're going to have to check and make sure that all your seams are glued shut. So I just kind of pick at it and make sure if you cut too much, then they'll come apart. There's a little bit right there. So then what I would do is grab the garbage and then I would trim some of this down around the edges so that you can kind of see the wing shape. Get a I'll do it up here on this paper. So you, you want to be able to see the wing shape, but try not to cut the fabric itself so that it doesn't come unglued. So yeah, I did my wings the same as Karen did on the one that I um, got the idea from. And then she had asked me how I did mine because I seen her at one of my craft fairs. And she said, I did mine the same way. So we thought that was kind of funny. But yeah, hers turned out beautiful. It was, it's like, oh, I have to make that. So there's our angel wing. And if you want to add anything else to it, if you want to add trim or beads around there, you can do that. I am not going to. I'm going to try to get rid of. And what you might even have to do is take this outside and shake it off because that's what I did and it's you do it and it looks like it's snowing okay so we'll set that aside and now we have to do his nose and I'll show you I do his nose every time So you could use any kind of fabric for the wings. Um, see what you have at home. If you had um, fur that was like a short, um, not like a long, like the beard here, if it was a shorter one, you could use that. You could use, yeah, you could just use about anything. Okay, so I do my hand, put the fabric over my hand for my nose, and stuff it in between my thumb and my index finger. Grab all the ends, and I don't have my string. And you're going to wrap it around once and pull it, and then wrap around two, three more times, and you should just be able to let it sit there and it won't go anywhere. And then do a knot. And then do a surgeon's knot. I'm just gonna do a couple loops. And now you're gonna pull up your note, pull up your gathers. You can shape this if you, I like a wider, fatter nose instead of a round one. So I pull more, the top to me is where the knot is. So I'm always pulling on the top and the bottom to get a like a flat wide nose. And like that. And then we're gonna take our thread and hold it over our nose and I put the gathers between my fingers and cut about a quarter of an inch away from the string. I'm just going to check and make sure I'm still filming. Okay, so we'll get his nose on and then we'll do the beard. So you're going to wrap it around the front 
like I've said, is where the heel is to me anyway. And then I, I tie it, knot it, and then I'm going to wrap this around the back and pull it so it's tight. And don't pull on the nose itself too much. If you need to move it, if it moved, but try not to pull. Um, otherwise, it will come undone. I've done it before. And now for his hat, before we do his beard, um, I have one here that if you take and you're going to, it's 11 by 11, and I cut from the corner where, like if this is my rectangle, I cut from the corner up too. So it could be longer, it could be shorter if you want. If you want to hot glue this, you're going to right sides together and hot glue or sew from this here. And you want this where it's going to go by his nose, you want this to be the stretch. This is going to be the top of his hat. So this has got a stretch. Okay. And I already have one here. And before we glue it on, I always fit it and I have his head stuffed too much. So then I take some out. So that's why I don't tie my head off. I used to in the beginning tie it off right away. And then I always ended up cutting it. See, I got to take a look. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more out. But these go by really quick. What I was started doing was doing a lot of the wings at first and getting those all done because it's so messy. And then once you do that, get everything else all cut and stuff. So that looks good. We're going to do his beard. And I'm going to show you guys how I smooth out my fur. <clears throat> so, and I have probably showed this a long time ago, and I know I've talked about it. Um, but I use a blow dryer. So it's going to get a little loud. So I will turn the volume down. So I'm going to blow it in the direction that... This is actually not too bad right now that the, the fur is going. Oh, looking for my brush. So I would blow it all down this way. And it smoothed it out. See, like I said, this isn't too bad. Let me see if I have another piece that I want to show you this off-white one and this one's a little and I have it up pretty high Keep. But that's how nice it gets when you use the blow dryer. And I get right in there where I see the um, lines and wrinkles and stuff. And all the way out to the edges. So that's the best way that I have found. So let's, we're going to cut this. And I'll see if I have to. Um, let's see, where did he go? this off and you just want to cut the backing and I use scissors some people can use the exacto knife but I would prefer not to I would probably cut my fingers more and then I always cut mine to a point so you know this one doesn't look as nice so we'll do this one
Isn't that cool? I just love, I love, love, love it how it looks. So now I just take and cut the back. It's still cutting the backing. Kind of, not always to a point, but cut the corners off. I like to see my gnome body. I don't like the whole thing to be a beard. You want to see what you made. And then we're going to take and we're going to cut a little U shape to go underneath his nose. And if you cut all the way through on that part, it doesn't matter because it's not down here where your, your length is. And then you're going to take hot glue and it's going to go right on the bottom of that U shape. <clears throat> and then you're going to pull his nose up and make sure the gathers stay under the beard. And then you're going to, on the little tabs, you're going to put hot glue and pull that right up next alongside his nose. And then tuck that in. And I get these nail brushes. I get them at Walmart. You can get them at Beauty Supply. Um, they're in by the makeup and the nails. Or you can use a toothbrush. And then I like to take hairspray. So I get by the can. If, you, if you're going to use hairspray because it's going to kind of um, keep it so it doesn't fly away. Um, Get a can. You don't want a you you don't want the pump. You don't want the wet. You want the can and the spray. And you spray it a little bit, and then you can kind of mold his beard. Just like that. Okay. And this the one I use is Pantene. It's a hold number four, which doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we're going to get his arms on. And these we're probably going to have to cut down. So you want to figure out where you want them. The seam is going to go down. So I'm going to go right about there. And I always cut it at an angle. And then I put a little bit of glue inside. So we'll let that sit. And then we'll cut the other one the same, but I gotta make sure I'm gonna get my angle cut. And be careful so you don't cut your pipe cleaner like I'm doing. This one got really, the pipe cleaner got really long. I don't know why the other one got was shorter. Uh, we're gonna cut this off. <clears throat> That it's going to be underneath the hat inside of his arm, so um, it's not going to be able to poke anybody. These are not toys anyway. And then I did have another trim that I bought at Hobby Lobby on the first one I made. And like I said, I don't have it because I already sold it. And I was selling mine for 25 And then you're going to take, make sure you get your arms the right way. And that they're the same. So if you get that pipe cleaner, then you can bend his arm and whatever. But we gotta let that dry. And you don't want too much. You wanna cut this bulk off the arms, otherwise it's too much underneath the hat. If I can bring him up a little further. I just wanted to get him so I can get some height. And I'm not even going to worry about um, 
tying his head off because that stuffing in there isn't going to go anywhere. So now you're going to put his hat on. You're going to make sure you're going to cover his arms. Get his fur and his beard all straightened out. And then we always take, flip this up, put the glue on the hat. And don't go right next to the edge. I have some fur on my glue gun. Because it's when you put this down, it, it's going to move. And then you're going to have to hold that and press it. So it doesn't move. And then I do the sides. And I go on the hat. Because you don't know where. If you put it on the arm and then your hat doesn't reach there. Then you have hot glue. And you have a mess. So if you do it on the hat. And be careful so you don't get it on your nose. Or his nose. <laughs> And then put a little bit, you can put it on the nose, because then you know you have to get it in that spot. Okay, so now before we put his wings on, we have to do the beads. And there's a couple of different ones. The first one I used was this one that's got like little snowflakes. It's at Hobby Lobby. And if I can get it on my hand, it is in with like the miniature tree ornaments and stuff. Um, it was a little harder to glue on than doing just these ones, which are in the same area. So it's just a string of like clear beads. So we're gonna start in the back and I'm just gonna put, I gotta turn this right close to the edge. I'm gonna do just a really thin bead of glue, about a little over an inch. And you're gonna lay the beads right on top of there and press them down. And you're gonna make that, make sure you don't, let me get you closer so you can see what I'm doing. Nope. Wrong. Go. <laughs> you don't want to look at me. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't show myself today because I, like I said, I've been sick and I wanted to get a video up for you guys and I'm sorry I haven't. So, we're going to do a little bit of glue and I'm going to pull that up a little bit. Just a thin little bead of glue. And then lay your beads down and press those down and then turn it. So you're gonna have to do this first before you put the beads on. I mean, before you put the wings on. So you don't wanna squeeze too much. And just lay them down. Let me make sure you guys are seeing this because I like you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. So I this I measured it and it's about 16, 17 inches of beads, but you're not going to need that much. And now we're going to go over by the nose. You're going to be careful not to get glue on anything. And then press that down. And I really, I didn't do a halo. Um, I liked just the way it looked like this. So if these beads are as halo, if you want to add a halo, you could do like a gold or silver pipe cleaner. And um, attach it up here I can kind of show you what I mean when I get done here I don't have a silver or gold one and you're gonna go you're gonna end right back where you started and then you'll just cut the excess off figure out where you need to cut it and 
press that down. And there's our beads. And then we're going to take, uh, I have some silver ribbon, and I have, if I had white, I had my white somewhere. I was going to do gold, and I couldn't find my gold ribbon, and I had just seen it earlier. So I'm just going to take a little piece of gold, of silver and white for the top of this hat. If I can find my white ribbon, I'll be glad when the next two weeks are over because I'm getting tired of craft fairs. <laughs> so, so I got just some really thin and skinny ribbon and I'm just going to tie, let me get him down so you guys can see, just going to tie it right up at the top of his hat. And I'm not going to tie it in a bow. I'm just going to knot it, tie it, and then I'm going to knot it. So you're going to pull it tight. And I didn't stuff his hat if you wanted to. I kind of forgot. Um, but I don't think I did on my other ones. I'm trying to get these. And then you can cut those. And now we're going to put his wings on. Okay, we got to finish here because I didn't want this to be an hour video. So now you're going to take his wings. If you want to bend them, you can. You're just going to take and put glue right down the center because it's going to go right here. We're going to glue it right here on his hat and in the back and we want to get it up so it's going to be like right from his hat here so you don't want it way down here because you can't see it so you got to have it up by his hat okay so you're going to put a good amount of glue and make sure you have glue stick and then make sure you get this on straight And even after you get done, if you see some of your, your um, wing is opening up, you can take and glue it after you get it on. So we're going to let that sit. And then we're going to do his bell. So you're going to get some white thread without a bunch of fur on it. And you're going to thread it through the hole. Or first, what you're going to probably have to do... And this one isn't too bad um, because some of them I've had to to take and push this down so I could get my flower in there. So this one will probably be okay. And if you have to glue it, if you can get some in there, but it's going to probably just drip. So I think if you just get it, because these are those kind of ribbon, you can get them by the bunch. And I don't know where if I got these at a rummage sale or where I got them. So let's get our string on first. Otherwise we're not. And then hold that out of the way. And then take and shove the flower. You might have to use your players to get it in that. bell down in there but like I said I had to kind of push some of that metal stuff down because mine didn't really want to go in there so I'm just going to take my needle nose pliers and try to push open that up a little bit more and I think I just kind of bent my bell I'll lose my jingler my jingler. You guys, I have some really cute gnomes coming up. I will even show them to you if I get a chance here. But if I do have a Facebook group site, Nancy's Handcrafted Creations. So if you go over there and join and become a member, um, I was going to do a live video last weekend, but I got sick. 
and now I'm trying to get this flower in here. Okay, so I got it in there as much as I can. I'm just going to glue it. And then you're going to take and you're going to wrap this around. I make sure that the, the bell or the flower is in the front of his hand. I got to see where you, the camera is if I'm too close. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you're going to tie the bell on his hand and I tie it like right where the sleeve and the hand are so that the flower is in the front. And you're just going to tie it in a knot. And I, that's why I use the white string because then it doesn't stick out so much. i do another knot. So there, there's our angel. Let me see if I forgot anything. Nope. So if you wanted to do, I'll do a quick, if you wanted to do a halo, <clears throat> what you can do is take and make, fold it in half and then like twist part of it. So leave your leave your circle open and you're gonna probably wanna cut this really short. I would do like a gold or a silver and then you can do this and then you're gonna cut. So you're gonna cut this down to maybe about an inch and then you can glue it um, behind his hat so you could do it like that, okay? Let me show you one more time. I gotta see, make sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, what I'm showing. Okay, so we're gonna fold this in half and you're gonna leave it so that there's an opening, a circle, and you're gonna twist this and you're only gonna need like about an inch and then you cut that excess off and then you're going to bend it down so it's like that and you open up your circle so if you did silver bell you could do a silver halo and I don't I can go look I don't think I have a silver um, let me run and look but I don't think I do I do so this one will get a halo. This will be cute. So now we're going to take our silver. We'll do it again. You're going to twist it. You're going to leave this circle. Okay. And you're going to twist it till about, you got an inch, maybe even less than that. You just need some to glue. And I'm going to even cut a little bit less. So you got to make sure it's twisted together. And then just put some glue on that back side, the side that's going to touch the hat. And I might take that string off on the top. So let's do that because it's kind of bugging me. And if I could find my small scissors. If I want to put it on, I can put it on after. Yep, I think I'm going to tie it back up tighter. Higher. I tried to do a short video, you guys. I really did. I got my, you've seen how prepared I was. I only ran away a couple times. So yeah, you, you play with it and see if you want to do a halo. If you don't, um, it's all up to you.
I might put my I might put my tie back down where I had it. So yeah. Maybe we'll just do the white. We won't do the silver. Maybe that's what it needs. And I had the flowers. If we wanted to, we could add those flowers. But I wanted to show you guys those other gnomes. I have so many videos that I'm going to try to get done within the next few days. So there's our angel gnome. So like I said, I have a Facebook group, Nancy's Handcrafted Creations. If you go over there and join, you can post your pictures. I can see all the wonderful things you guys make. And it doesn't have to be just stuff for my channel, stuff that you're working on if you have questions. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to join my crafting community and click on that subscribe button and then when you click on the bell that will notify you each time I upload a new video. If you like what you've seen and you want to see more of this click the like button and these are going to be coming up in a video so you're going to get just a sneak peek those and this is Mr. Jingles. He is going to be coming up. Oh, he needs something to sit on. Mr. Jingles. And his little owl friend. They are going to be coming up in a video. You can't see them. That's Mr. Jingles. Mr. Jingles Elf Gnome. So we have him. He's coming up. And... Trying to get this done. Snowman gnome. This is out of the same pattern as my snowman. And one of my favorites. This is Leaf. He's our woodman gnome. These. So I've been been kind of busy, been kind of sick. <laughs> so I'm trying to get stuff out of the way so you guys can how gorgeous this little guy is. I did his coat and I did a stitching and I used a sweater and I'm going to show you how I did that. I love, love, love how I did it and I did the same thing with Mr. Jingles. His was a sweater and they turned out adorable and so I'm going to do some videos on those and hopefully get some of those out next week also. So thank you, thank you guys for joining me today. Back and do a video, and I'm sorry I've been out um, when I've been doing craft shows and just got sick lately. And so, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for joining me today. Bye bye.